Uh, my name is Tim Lynch and uh, I'm recently retired from the St. Paul Police Department after 31 years. I now work for the State Department of Education and I'm also the board chair of CPNI. My name is Carol Baumeister and I've been involved with the Children's Program of Northern Ireland since 1980. When it first started, a lot of what was a lot of the impetus for it was a woman who uh, wrote a letter asking to uh, send her kid here to the United States. She wrote a letter to a bunch of newspapers, and the Fargo newspaper answered. When it first started, the idea was she wanted to get her kid out of uh, Northern Ireland during the marching season, when the Protestants would march to the Catholic neighborhoods and vice versa. And there was a lot of fighting and shooting and bombing. She didn't think it was safe to send her kids outside. So somebody started and they said, we'll take your kids. And she flew them halfway around the world, sight unseen, just on their say-so. And it was to get away from the violence. And really, that was the, the big impetus of the program at the beginning. Now, uh, the program is really geared much more towards what we call cross-community, where they, um, the kids from both traditions learn to uh, they deal with each other, they play with each other, they work on projects together. And really, they get used to the thought that you know, kids are the same all the world over, so it's, it's really um, come to a point where I think we're just trying to get people to make sure they're talking to each other, working with each other, and playing with each other. It is still needed because of all the segregation when you feel it over there. there. You still feel that. They still need to continue changing the ways. Changing the ways and changing the thinking. And offering these kids this opportunity, it does change their thinking. It gives them a new way to, uh, um, a new way just about playing with kids, about, you know, not, not judging somebody because of religion. Because we don't mix by religion over here when we place them in families. We have to mix by likenesses. We have to place them by likenesses. But at the same time, they're exposed to how we all live here. And we don't judge somebody because he goes to this church or I go to that church. I think it's a great program. I, to me, uh, you know, I went over to visit Ireland with my wife last year. And we got to see where these kids live, where... Um, where they come from and the schools they attended. And uh, some of the kids come from tough circumstances and they get to come over here and spend a nice relaxing summer in Minnesota uh, doing outdoor things and, and, and uh, you know, a lot of nature type things so that uh, they don't have to be in uh, Belfast and some of the areas where things are going on where they're having marching through the neighborhoods and stuff so they get to avoid some of those conflict type things that are occurring in the summer. Violence, by and large, has ended in Northern Ireland. They're, they're, the stuff that used to go on, the bombings and the shootings, are, are really uh, not anywhere near as prevalent. It's, it's pretty uncommon now to have that kind of violence. However, the kids over there really do still live in separate communities. The Protestants and the Catholics, um, they really don't mix too much. We've made some progress over the years. Uh, they now have integrated schools. They have uh, a lot of things that have changed, you know, over the years. But, you know, you go over to Ireland and a, a Belfast area, and you'll find uh, you can tell people's uh, whether they're Protestant or Catholic based on, you know, what their last name is, what neighborhood they live in, um, even what kind of foods they buy in the grocery store. There's like Catholic butter and Protestant butter, Catholic milk and Protestant milk. So, it's kind of unusual. You could probably look at somebody's cart and figure out if they were Protestant or Catholic, and it's. Uh, I think this is really um, the goal of the program, of course, is to bring them together so that everybody can talk to each other and, and uh, try to govern the country in a way that uh, is fair to everybody. 
as things have changed in Northern Ireland, um, and then we became a cross community program, uh, it's it's changed, and I'm I'm there a lot, and I you know I see the changes from back in 1980 just in the environment in Northern Ireland, and so and um, so the program changed with it. So when we took it from just being a program bringing children out of the troubles to a program of changing children's thinking, which was the cross community, that's a big change. And that all kind of started taking place in 1998. Lots of ways people can get involved is we, families pay for these children to come. Not every family can do that. So if people want to make donations or grandparents want to say, I'll help, we'll sponsor, or anybody that wishes a corporation or we've had lots of luck from Rotary Clubs and so forth, they, um, we accept those donations and that might give the family an opportunity to have a child in their home um, rather than saying no to the family because, you know, they can't, or, or the family saying no, they just can't do it. So we look for some scholarship money to help us out. Now there is scholarship money we can use is for the Cross Community Day and the picnic, that's another day. So there are, a, any way we, they can help us, we'd be appreciative of it. They can call us at, uh, our phone number is 651-405-1108 or email us at cpni.org or cpni at cpni.org. Um, we have a website they can look on there, they can contact us through there. There's a lot of information on the website if they want to find out more about the program. We'd love to get uh, more host families. There's a lot of kids that would like to come over, a lot of kids. And we can't right now accommodate them all. We'd love to be able to accommodate them all, get enough families that would like to host. <laughs> <laughs> can I have one of your friends? Are you, are you